Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, I'm going to go over to Hot New Hip Hop, and this is in the Celebrities column. The article writer is Caroline Fisher, and this article is about Diddy's alleged drug abuse. Diddy's ex-bodyguard details his alleged drug abuse. He was a junkie, quote, unquote. As Diddy continues to face backlash for a damning accusations made against him in, multi- in, a, in the multitude of lawsuits he's facing, only more allegations are surfacing. Past partners, collaborators, and peers have came forward with their own accounts of the mogul's behavior, including his former bodyguard, Roger Barnes. Barnes worked closely alongside Diddy for several years and claims to have witnessed his alleged abuse of Cassie and much more. During a recent interview with Vlad TV, he also detailed the Bad Boy Record founder's alleged past drug abuse. He alleges that Diddy would ask those close to him to obtain prescription medications for him under their names, including Cassie and himself. This seemingly corroborates some of the accusations the songwriter made against her ex in her now settled lawsuit against him. Mm -mm. Roger Barnes accuses Diddy of asking friends to obtain prescription medication for him. And I will definitely link that video in the description so you can go check it out if you haven't already uh, done so over at Vlad TV. It says everybody would go to the pharmacy and pick up a uh, pick his ish up in their names, Vaughn alleges. Excuse me, alleged. Even one time I believe I went and picked up something in my name one time and I just gave it to Diddy, but he would do that on a regular on the regular. So at uh that point I thought it was because he was Diddy and he didn't want to go into CVS, but he had doctors write a prescription for him whatever, whenever he wanted. I know he was a junkie at the time, he continued. He had a bag that he would carry with him every day and it was uh, up to the assistant or even the security to carry this bag. He had a name for it. It was called the medication bag. And this medication bag would be everything that he needed. Bonds added before listing off some of the substances that he would uh, allegedly use. What do you think of Roger Bonds' recent claims about Diddy's alleged past drug abuse? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below and keep an eye out for hot new hip hop for more uh, uh, updates and that is the end of the article um like it says the article really doesn't go into it but you can definitely go over and check out the video the interview that he did with vlad tv um nobody at this point should be uh (laughs) you know surprised about you know diddy's drug use and his alleged drug habits and alleged drug use um you know gene dill spoke about you know this and you know gave a possible reason as to why he got addicted to drugs in the first place um however no one should be surprised at this point in this stage of this developing story that just keeps getting, uh, you know, just more de- sadder by the moment uh, to see a person, any person of that stature uh, that has contributed so much to the hip hop community. Um, well, he, he contributed to it, but it was really the artist that really brought forth the movement and the culture, um, so to speak. So let's not take away from that. You know, he didn't just get up there and start doing this all by himself. You know, he had a whole range of artists from different genres that, you know, definitely contributed to the culture and to, you know, pop 
hip hop rap as we know it. Uh, you know, but him and the drugs and Cassie and stuff like that. I'm not surprised. It's not uncommon for celebrities, uh, not even celebrities, uh, not even a, not just, it's not just relegated to a list celebrities. It could be B, C, you know, whatever. Um, you know, people for one reason or another, they don't want their name to be but like, oh yeah, he was going in a drugstore picking up medication. I wonder what that's about. Speculation, tabloids. However, some people use that ruse to have other people um get you know medication for them because they do have some type of substance abuse problems which is being alleged in this article and which has been alleged for years um you know uh going back and looking at some of his interviews you can definitely tell uh that he was under something especially when he took a liking to you know, wearing shades and glasses. Yes, it was stylish and everything of that nature. Also, uh, you know, it could have been allegedly to hide the symptoms of being under the influence of a substance. So uh, nothing surprising there. Uh, he definitely needs to go get help uh, with all of his issues, not just his anger issues, not just his DV issues, not just his... Uh, apparent <laughs> trauma that he has and that he has uh, received, you know, as growing up, you know, is definitely an underlying thing there, you know, so uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I definitely would love to hear from you, so come chop it up with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and um, I'll keep you guys posted on this story and every other story that I do. I appreciate the love and support and the comments that have been coming through. And with that, you guys, I will get with you in the next one.